Good evening slash morning, everyone. It's Superlex here, and welcome back to LEGO Fortnite Creative Mode. Now, I have an idea, everyone, okay? First of all, I hope you all are having an awesome day, but picture this. We're going to build ourselves a winter village right here in this general vicinity, okay? That is my dream, you know? I, I was up all night thinking about this. Oh my gosh, and they've even got an arch over here, too, that you can walk through. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. So, the first thing we're going to do, you know, the, the meat and the potatoes of the procedure, uh, we need to clear out a space. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, no, the first thing we need to do is obviously make sure we have food. We need to get ourselves a village square, if I can remember the controls. Uh, what do we need exactly? I think it's this thing right here. So, what do you need for this? We have infinite materials. Oh, great, we're already getting attacked by the wildlife. That is okay, because eventually we're going to have a lot of people living here. Um, I, you know what? I don't think it really matters. Let's just put this here too close to a landmark oh huh? what do you mean too close to a landmark what land what what are we talking about here okay oh that's odd what does it mean by that I am i in like a special place on i must be in a special place on the map right now let me check um nope doesn't look special okay well that kind of sucks because i wanted to put i wanted to put my village on like this flat area you know, that's okay, though, because we might be able to gradually have our village, like, go up the mountain, which would be kind of sick. Yeah, let, let's place it right here, okay? I think this is going to be a good a good place to start, okay? We'll, we'll even get rid of whatever that thing is in the background. Let's go with uh, this cool cyanish color, okay? That We're going to confirm that. I think last time we used a pinkish purple color. So, first thing we're going to do is... I guess get rid of this. No, no, you know what? Let's keep it here. That looks nice, okay? What I'll do is I'll get an axe in my inventory just because uh, axe will get the best axe in the game. I love creative mode so much. I've always been a creative warrior. Kind of curious, though, although this cuts down trees, doesn't it? Nah, it doesn't matter. All right, so the first thing we're going to do... Wait, can we upgrade this immediately? We're going to go to level 10 just immediately. I know this kind of seems overpowered, guys, but... Why the heck not? What we're in wait, wait a sec. What's it say? We need use village points and materials to upgrade your village. Upgrading your village can increase village capacity, add useful perks, and unlock new recipes for builds and furniture. So I think we cannot upgrade this yet until we build we get a better village rating. Okay. So you can't just immediately upgrade your village. I mean, I suppose that does kind of make a bit of sense. So what we're gonna do is go into the menu here, see if we can go into some houses. And, uh, wh what do you guys think? Well, well, I mean, oh my gosh, we can already, we can build anything. C you know what? What, Tower Manor? Should we start with that? No, no, you know what? No, we already built, there's just too much. You know what? Let's start with something basic. Let, let's uh, get something basic, as basic as a Tower Manor, okay? <laughs> um, except our, no, actually, I don't think we can do a Tower Manor. I think its object is too far away. It, oh, wait, there is enough space, okay. Uh, but I don't think we have enough space. <laughs> oh, wait, we do. There we go. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, someone's already moved in. Would you look at this? Who are you? Talk to Slush. Where I'm from, they call me Penguin Suited Vendor. But around here, you can call me Slush. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you, Slush. I always enjoy making new friends, and you're in it no exception. Hooray! Yes, you will be moving in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know you're tired. It's okay. I know all of your AI-generated messages. First thing we're gonna do, because we have unlimited materials, right? So we're gonna speed build this as fast as humanly possible. Does this go... Here. Well, I love how I say speed build, and we're, 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 not, we're not starting off too good. I, I, need, I need to get back into this. It's been, it's been a couple days since I played this game, okay? So you guys need to cut me a break. How many stages are there? That's what I'm worried about. I kind of wish that in creative mode, they made it so... I don't know. You could build a little quicker, but I, no, no. This makes it more exhilarating because it gives you something to do, right? Stage one of 37. Oh my gosh, that's going to take a while, but that's good because this is this is going to be awesome to, to move into, guys. I don't think you realize. Can this go here? We've even got rams running all over the place here. Like, seriously? Slush, can you come over here and help me? It'd make my job a lot easier. I mean, based on the base of the structure, I think this is going to be a pretty decent size, I'd say. I right, just go here. Yep. Let me put some corners there. And then whatever this thing is. I, I think this is like a castle, right? Does this suit living in a or being put in a what is this area? Just I think it's called the Frostlands, right? Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Oh, and, and also I just want to say, forgive me guys if I seem a little, you know, down or under the weather today. I'm extremely tired. I couldn't sleep all night. I like like I woke up, it, it literally felt like I didn't sleep. Like you guys ever have that you have those nights where you're you're just lying in bed and then you i don't know or you're just not in bed for long enough because you have to all of a sudden get up early in the morning that's what happened to me and it, even though i slept it feels like i haven't slept so it just basically feels like i stayed up all night so 
Yes, but I still dragged my butt into this chair and I started recording because I, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to build a house for Slush here. Where, slush? Slush! Ah, uh, he's, he's out hunting some rams. He'll be back in a minute or two. I really do wish, though, uh, uh, Epic, if you happen to be watching this video, please make it in the creative mode or whatever this is called. It, it, you can make it so it doesn't get dark because it is so annoying when it's dark outside. I don't know. I just, I don't like the dark. Oh, wait, we can put up some campfires, though. What are you doing, Rams? There's just something about the north. I, I just, I've always liked it. And it's not even necessarily just the north in the game. I've always been like that type of person. I've always liked, liked winter for like, you know, I don't know, snow reasons. As long as it's not like ice. It's just magical, but it can't just be because of Christmas and Santa Claus. There's got to be something else to it, right? So what I'm going to do really quickly is we're going to exit out of build mode. And we're going to do what those fellas beat us to over there. Uh, slash, we might have ourselves a fight because these guys might try to raid us eventually. But that's okay because we will be ready. I'm just going to put this uh, probably not close to any trees. That should suffice. Then Now this is going to warm us up. And I don't know if you guys have realized, but if you look at my inventory here, we've got three um, inner fire charms. So it's gonna, basically going to make us so we're immune to the cold i think and if we're not well then i'll put torches everywhere and then that should be good and i've also got like i don't know like probably hundreds of these little pizzas well not really so much little pizzas these things are huge so we're not gonna die which is sweet and there's also something about seeing fire or smoke in the distance in the frostlands that is just i just i don't know it just it gets me going you know it's awesome and this is definitely gonna be quite the procedure maybe oh i have a good idea what do you guys think about me doing like half houses and like slowly building things all together Oh, what the heck's going on? Apparently, I don't know the controls. Why is it not? Oh, okay. I, I get confused between E and Q quite often, as you can see. But yeah, I, I want to start building this house, but then I also want to start building other houses. It's going to be like an ongoing procedure, so then they'll all be built at the same time. Because, yes, this is going to take a while, and Slush, yeah, he's going to... He's just going to be standing there out in the cold, although he does... Yeah, he does kind of look like a penguin. Oh, man, and I also just realized we can build, like, a desert village, too. So we can, like not combine our villages but we can go from village to village that would be nice wouldn't it all right let's just do this next stage and if i can get to the part see why is it sometimes q and then sometimes it's e that's why it's messing me up you see i'm not crazy i knew i wasn't and the nice thing about these houses though because they're so big well i guess you could call this a castle is you can fit so many people in it and i think i even see lights over there there's already some people living here which is I don't know. They might be considered baddies. That's the problem. Right? We don't want them to come raid our village. If anything, we need to be the ones doing the raiding, right? Especially today, because I'm in that mood. What the heck is this? Is this... Oh, we're already getting on to the, to the sides of it. So what I'll do is I'll do this last stage. I know I already said that, but I'm in the groove right now. We'll do this last one, if I can somehow place this. I don't know. Maybe we got to do the other ones first. And then I'll start building another house. But this one will probably be a smaller one just because otherwise we're going to have nowhere for anyone to live. And guys, I'm really excited for this. If you're excited, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And then also comment down below that you're excited because, I mean, I like to know that you guys are excited for these series because I am. Like, this is going to be amazing. We're going to build a huge village. And we can even build, like, a path going up to the top of the mountain over there. And then it's going to be a maxed out village. And who knows what else we can do in creative. Maybe we can even get, like, a pet brute, you know, time to a leash so many other things i want to do i want to start like a, maybe a sky uh maybe like a sky base or something i don't know is, is there such thing as lego fortnite one block challenge you know how they've done that in minecraft where you have to survive off of one block there's just endless amounts of things you can do in creative mode i have so many ideas i'll have to tell you guys all about them once i am, can use more of my brain because like i said i didn't sleep well so i'm just kind of you know a bunch of endless brain fog today but that is okay what do we got left does that go there no, I think we got to go out to the outside. Oh, and that's another thing. Guess what? I don't think it rains in the Frostlands. Pretty sure it just snows. So we don't have to deal with that pesky rain no more. Heck does this go? Uh, am I being humbled? Am I being boggled? What the heck? Um, yeah, sometimes the game likes to trick you and you have to do a certain thing first. Not for my style of lichen, but whatever. That's a pretty big, um, huh. My gosh, it's, it's it's already convoluted in here. We haven't even got the walls up yet. It's like a bloody maze. Here we go. Wait, what is the game? Uh, why can't I place that there? Something's up. Oh, wait, we might actually be able to break it. But is, it, is this going to just restart the whole build, though? That's what I'm worried about. Let's get rid of this. I think, I think I placed it too quickly or something. That actually makes it really easy. Oh, yes. Okay, then you have to redo it. I see. 
Ah, I see what's going- There we go. Yeah, the game was broken, see? I'm telling you, they've got so many glitches here they have to patch, but that's okay. Where, where there's, there's a how, there's a will, or a will, there's a how, or whatever the heck the saying is. I don't really care. Uh, what I care about is getting this completed, though. There we go. You see, as long as you've got a trusty pickaxe on you, you can do anything. Oh, we got the last thing over here. There ain't nothing you can't solve in this world if you put your mind to it. Your Lego Fortnite brain. I wonder how smart Lego Fortnite characters are. Anyways, oh, no, I, I know I said I was going to move on, guys, but, like, I, I'm getting excited because now we're on the flooring already. This is the, the, the easiest part. Okay, maybe it's not the easiest part. I can't even find the right pieces. It's like, um, you know the game Spleef from Minecraft where you have to break, uh, you know, the ground and get people to fall? That's what this reminds me of. Maybe, can you build Spleef stuff in this game? Maybe? Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, this one here. Wait, wait, there's still one more. Ah, uh, missed one. And now we got three here one two three and what's the next stage look like i'll just take a very a very brief look but i mean this seems to be a pretty short one does this go over here maybe maybe so huh uh over here yeah i, I love how the side the, the pieces are so precise like even though they look exactly the same you you cannot put a certain piece in a, in a wrong spot or it gets you the game just just did not it does not allow it but I guess that's kind of a good thing, right? Makes the game creative and makes you have to use your brain a little more. I can see why that's a good thing because you don't want to be playing games that don't make you use your brain. Like, this makes you think. If you're not, then you'll just turn into a vegetable. You'll be like, no, you're just looking at the computer screen. Why the heck would you want to do that? And by the way, have you guys noticed every time I say computer, I have to say it quietly because I have an Alexa. It's like an Echo Dot that I um, got a couple years ago. It, 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 I have it called computer so then it doesn't interfere with the other Alexas in the house that we have. So when I'm recording, if I say the word too loud, it'll start rambling on when I'm in the middle of recording. And that's why sometimes you might hear a random woman talking in the background. No, she's not my girlfriend trying to get me to come cuddle with her. It's just the Alexa talking in the background, okay? Eventually, but not while I'm recording, okay? Let's put this here. And hey, I mean, I'm no expertee on building, but that's looking pretty good so far. However, because Slush needs a place to live. He's made that very clear. We're gonna now move on. Can I do multiple builds at the same time? Maybe we might be lucky. Uh, should we just do a simple shack? What's No, I'm not gonna do anything simple. Tower Manor, I think, is what we're doing. Manor Gates. Hmm. Huh. That, that looks interesting. This is Humble Manor. I think we can do the Humble Manor. This, I, I, no, no, we don't have enough space because we need to upgrade our village. Okay, I think what we're going to do, and I know you guys are going to think, okay, Superlex, what the heck are you doing? This does not match. I am very well aware of that, but I cannot build the the, the, the big houses yet, right? Because we just do not have the space. I really wish you could look at this from a bird's eye view because this probably looks horrible and I don't even know it. But now that gives us enough space. Haha, -ha, now let's start this one. And we're going to be gradually working on houses uh, one at, well, not one at a time. I mean, uh, all of them at a time, I guess you can say, right? So then we'll have all of them ready at the same time. And before you know it, our village is going to be huge. And that's the best thing that you can do, right? And uh, we'll just let's go place that there. And then we got to think about, you know, installing some mini fridges and drink bars and stuff. Because everybody gets thirsty. I mean, I've always wanted a mini fridge in my gaming setup. Yeah, just something I want to tell you guys. We're working on building me a new, you know, recording studio. I'm so excited for that, actually. So, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to this year. And I'm sure there's a lot to look forward to with you guys, too. You got to think, what are your goals for this year, okay? Write them down if you must. Think about things you can or you want to achieve. But obviously, make sure they're obtainable. Because if they're not and you don't do it, you'll just beat yourself up mentally. But that's just, you should never do that anyways. But you, you, you need to start and make sure they're obtainable. But you got to try not to make, you don't want to slack off, right? You want to make them hard, but you don't want to make them hard to the point where, like, you can't obtain them, if that makes any sense. Remember, balance. It's balance with everything in life there's i don't think there's a single thing in this world that, that doesn't require balance to work properly i mean if you think about it i mean too much of anything isn't good i mean even drinking did you guys know if you drink too much water it's bad for you it's like believe it or not i'm not joking i didn't believe it either but there's always too much of everything but then you can also be dehydrated so you gotta find that sweet middle spot if you catch my drift which is what we're doing right here we're doing one house well not one house at a time doing both of them i gotta find i think i smell it Ah, uh, smell it. I wonder, wait, you can actually farm in this game too. I completely forgot about that. But I think you need like specific villagers for that, right? See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. You cannot place this here. I have to go to this side to place it. Wait, or never mind. Maybe it was that side. What? Um, no, no, you have to place it from the side. That's my point. 
If it's not precise, you can't do it. Yo, another thing I just thought of too. Do you guys want me to do um, like building challenges? You know, eventually I can bring in some friends or something and we could like, uh, someone could like judge the builds at the end. It's like, who can build the best hippo, for example? I don't know how you would ever be able to do that, but that would be cool. I'm, I'm looking forward. There's so much stuff I want to do in this game ever since I discovered creative mode. I mean, I knew about creative mode from the get-go, but like I wanted to try a survival series. Don't worry, I will be coming back to my survival series eventually. It's just survival... I don't know, if I'm going to give you my candor, I'd say it was a little too slow paced for me. I mean, at the beginning it was okay, but then I kind of lost interest in survival just because it was just taking too long. Like for me to get, what did I have to do? Like it's uh, 50 pieces of marble or something. Do you guys know how long that would take? Or was it marble slab even? Unless I was missing out on something, which I'm sure I was because there's a lot I didn't know about the game. But do you know how many hours and hours and you guys would not want to see that and just I'd have to play when I'm not recording. And as you guys know, I, I don't play games when I'm not recording. Whenever I'm playing, I'm recording. It's just something I do, right? I, I don't have any free time like that. But I do enjoy what I do, so. Well, now we're going to have to use our ingenuity skills, I think. And possibly, how do I build again? I, I don't remember how to do it. Uh, oh, here we go. We, we got to build ourselves a staircase, right? What is it? No, man, I should probably uh, give myself a weapon. It might be the smart thing to do, <laughs> you know, because if I don't... Oh, what are the... How did I know that was going to happen? And, and apparently I can't go out the door now. Open door. Whoa, jeez, what the, the heck? You ambushed me. You little bugger. He ambushed me. Did you see that? He was just waiting for me right there. Now we got to go back up our staircase. This time not jump over. Now we can uh, start the build. If I can get back here. Remain in parts. Boom. Boom. I think this house only had 19 stages. Yeah, we're, we're a little over, um, or we're a little under halfway. We're getting there, though. I don't think I actually built this. I've built this house before, right? I mean, maybe I have, but I don't remember. Eh, can I reach? Yes, I just managed to reach. Okay, where does this one go? I think it can just fit there. And what's the next stage? Can I, can, oh my gosh, can I, can I please just reach? I think I just boxed myself in like the fool I am. Oh no, we just managed to escape. Um, what was your name? Sh Sharky, Sh Shimmy, it was Fishy something. I actually cannot remember his name for the life of me. I think it was, it'll come back to me. I, I don't want to cheat. I want to see if I can remember. It, what, what was it? it? Was I can't remember. It was Frosty. No, maybe it was just Ben or something. Something simple like that. Oh, you want to know another thing I'm excited for? Actually putting lights in the house. If you guys can remember, we had to put torches in our other houses before and you couldn't even place them on the walls. It was the, the stupidest mechanics ever. Whoever invented that, please fix it, okay? You, you can't even place them. You just toss them. You can't place them on the ground. At least in Minecraft, I mean, they looked bad. But it's like in this game, you just throw them and then they, they just rand up in a random spot. You can't make it perfect. So in Minecraft, you could be a little more meticulous with it, which... I mean, obviously made it look better. The heck? Oh, something's up. Oh, see, I told you, you have to place it exactly or the game gets mad. Well, I suppose they are. That time it was two different pieces. I think this is it. Is that the last one? Oh, no, we got two more stages. Okay. We're on the, the final stretch, everyone. Do you have your seatbelts on? Because you were about to go for a ride. We're hungry already. Well, yes, I mean, I suppose you do work up quite an appetite when you're building all day. I, I can't even imagine construction workers doing this all day. Props to you. I mean... You've got to make sure that the nails and the houses are built fairly, really thoroughly and methodically. Because if you don't, well then, I don't know, you might get some leaks when it's raining or something like that. So, kudos to the construction workers. I, I thank you with all my heart, but I, I, I do need to actually eat here. Uh, place, place, why? What's happening? Is it... Yeah, see, what the heck? Okay, place. Am I just lagging, like, really badly? Oh, I'm, I'm lagging really badly, that's what's happening. Oh uh, yeah, that happens every once in a while. Place. There we go. Now we can eat our well-earned deserved pizza that takes a whole seven seconds to eat. Could you imagine if you could just down a whole pizza in seven seconds? It's kind of a good thing that you can't because uh, I don't know about you, but in like a what? Let's say, I want to say Domino's pizza, Little Caesars pizza, whatever you, pizza you have at your place. It's probably like thousands of calories. Could you imagine you just down that in a second? Gulp. And you want to know something really cool. Uh, your body doesn't actually tell you you're full until like 20 minutes after you've started eating or 20 minutes after you're full. So then all of a sudden that's, you know how you binge on like Thanksgiving or whatever. And then all of a sudden, 20 minutes later, it's like, oh my God, I feel like I just ate a truck's worth of food. Yeah, because your body takes you a while for those hormones to change, right? So to get rid of the ghrelin hormone, I really want to go over there. What's your name? Come on. It's Slush. I think Slush was the only thing that I didn't say. Anyway, Slush, I'm going to give you, oh, this is nice. Actually, this is a nice estate. 
you know, a couple lights in here will be nice. You know, we're putting, we're putting the beds in here first. Or, I mean, sorry, lights. Uh, plop. Oh, my God, plumbing. Why? <laughs> They've got everything, don't they? They're going to keep updating it. You already know. What th I think this um, Majestic Manor's Dining is going to look the best suited in here. Okay, I mean, it's a log cabin. What looks... No... Wooden lantern, no, wooden lantern, 100%. And this could be like an, an ancient street light. Oh, man. There's just too much. Like, I can't. I, I can't even. But if I had to choose something for inside, I guess I'd have to go wooden lantern. I mean, keep in mind, guys, we can always change this. This is a table lantern, though. Now, let's, let's see what this looks like. Can I just, oh, man, but that's not on a table, but can is that as far in the corner as it can go? That looks, um, eh, it's possible. It's not really the, the I, I don't know, it doesn't really light up that much, does it? But, I don't know, I mean, a wooden shack, how much are you supposed to, or really hoping to light up, right? I don't know, it's not, let's try something else, eh. It's okay, it's a meh. Waxing poetic. The heck is that? Should I just, like, g just get these candles? Metal smelter. I just unlocked a new build recipe. Oh, but well, we don't need to smelt stuff, because we're, we're in creative mode. Uh oh no! No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Well, kids, that's why you don't have a freaking pickaxe in your house. It's fine. Just just a minor damage. We'll call someone in a few years. Ah, will that be good? Is that even this? Is that the same thing? No, it's not. What the heck? That sucks. I'm mad now. Uh, oh my gosh, that looks so ugly. That's awful. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. All hope is not lost. Is it this? No, it's like this size. See, this creates such an inconvenience, and I don't even think that there was a window here, but whatever, I'm putting one there anyways, because more light, more the merrier. We need more light in this shack. Oh, that, yeah, that definitely was not there before, but hey, it is good enough. See, whenever there's a problem, you can always fix it. This time, make sure we actually break the lantern, please. Wall candles are definitely going to be best, because you can put as many of these as you want, I think, on the on, in the house, right? And it's not going to affect you. So, I know that this probably looks really ugly. Uh, another object is in the way. What do you mean by that? Uh, are you dumb? Because I don't see another object being in the way, but that's fine. And then what we can do is put a bed, or at least a couple beds. Why can't I put this on the wall? What do you mean another object is in the way? I'm having a horrible luck today. What? The, um. Okay. Okay, I guess we can't center things. That's... Why is it trying to place way out there? Um. Okay. Yes. Definitely a lot that needs to be fixed, but that's okay. Okay, let's get the beds. You know, I, I'm not even dealing with lights anymore. Me and lights are just not mixing today. Oh, what's this? Good night bed. Do you guys get it? That's funny. Panel bed. W what suits this? Well, it's, it's, uh, this bed here, whatever that said. Drowsy bed. It'll make you really drowsy in the morning, which is not a good thing. But it'll be good enough. What looks like a good bedroom? Well, this, this, I was going to say, I thought that didn't even have a door. Let's put a bed here. Okay, there you go. Put a bed on that side. We're going to assign this to whoever he is. Why doesn't it go to the actual... My gosh. Why does... Come on. Go to the actual wall, please. Thank you. Okay. I think now we can assign our boy over here to live. Come on, Slush. You better enjoy this house because this took me an arm and a leg. Everything is awesome. If I could sleep at your village tonight, I'd be warm as toast. Yeah, you would be because you're going to sleep in my village tonight, okay? Ah, uh, live in my village. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. Okay, can I give you a job just right out the gate? please. Okay, let's talk jobs. Let's see. Of course. What can I do for you? Uh, help the, what's, let's just, let's say, help the village. The village needs everything because I'm the mayor. You already know if it's me working on a project, oh, kiss it goodnight. Actually, never mind. What was the other option? Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. Explore. Okay. So, so I think he, oh, he just pulled out a sword. Where the heck did you get that from? So he's going to be exploring. He might find us some stuff. I don't know. I just want, obviously, people working around the village. It just makes it look a little more lively. Oh, he's coming with me. Oh, yes, it was like Maisie. I didn't even know you could tell your villagers to just like follow you like that. Do you want some pizza, Slush? Yeah, you're going to be exploring with me. You know what? I think we need to upgrade your sword. This is what I was really looking forward to, okay? So what I'm going to do is um, if I can find out. Uh, that's not, I, don't, I pressed the wrong buttons. I'm going to give you the best sword in the game because why not? Okay, buddy. Let's give you this. You, know, you can get rid of that sucky wooden sword. And we're going to upgrade you this to... What even is this sword? I'm just going to give you that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the sword that you just had, though? I think it was. Let, let, let's test it. Okay, buddy, come over here. Come over here, please. We need we need to test how good you are. How good are your fighting skills? Let's just spawn in, you know, your common, helpless, pathetic, 
waste of time, ugly skeleton. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to roast you that hard. I'm just in a mood today. Go get him. Go get him, Frosty the Snowman. He's over there. Oh, is that? No, I thought there was a roller. Oh, he's coming out of the ground. Okay. Come here. Come on. We don't have all day here. What the heck? He throws dynamite at you. Whoa, never mind. Oh, wow. You just got wrecked, Frosty. Go, go get him, Slush. Don't just stand there, you fool. Attack. Man, you're useless. You're stuck in a tree. That's why. Okay, I'll break the tree for you. Come on, the viewers want to see a good fight. I'm, I'm not even joking. Why does it take this long to cut chop down a tree? There you go. Finally. What did, frost pine rod. Dope. What, what's that look like? Oh, because, yeah, we're, we're in the frost. I think this is, like, the best biome you could be in. Okay, there you go, buddy. Fine. I, I guess you can follow me as long as... You need to get your game up, though. Oh, my gosh. You're doing horribly. You want know on second thought? I think I'm going to dismiss you. Um, dismiss. No, I don't, I don't even want you anymore, okay? I'm going to give you a, a normal job. Go, go refine wood for me, okay? I mean, your performance there was so pathetic, I can't even look at you right now. I gave you that sword for nothing, but that is okay, ladies and gentlemen.